What's up guys, this is Heiss, and yes, welcome to Montezuma Mondays. Oh goodness, I'm very high, or very low in the frame. There we go. Perhaps a wee bit better? Seems a wee bit better. Yes, we are uh, working on Montezuma once again today. Um, we were doing temp boiler things, and we're going to be continuing temp boiler things here uh, shortly. Um, and that's basically the plan for the day. So I'm just gonna keep working on that and go from there. So anyway, um, I see that we have a uh, top chat from Silly Goober. How much pink lemonade should you consume? How much pink lemonade do you have? That's a good question. Pink lemonade is tasty, but you know, yeah. So anyway, we've got uh, we've got a couple hours uh, here. Of course, Century Steam meetings coming. Uh, you know, at seven, so um, about uh, just shy of two hours to uh, till I have to get off here, but uh, we'll uh, keep working until then. Um, so yeah, I was playing Dero Valley, and it ran until uh, a, you know, ran for a little bit, and uh, that was that. So <laughs> you'll see Dero Valley back tomorrow, and it, uh, it was a bit of a uh, it was a bit of a chore that uh, that episode. So uh, hopefully you guys will like it. Anyway. Uh, it was a bit of a... Hi, Dusty. Uh, it was a bit of a chore. Hello. That episode, so... Hello. Hello. You Hello. should see the lamps in the B8. Hello. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Yes, actually. Hello. The lamps in the B8. There is an echo through Dusty. Hello. I don't know what's going on here. You it's fine. Can you hear me? Yes, actually. It's not me, I promise. It's it, not. There's also a Glenn. Dusty. Really? Oh, now, now we I, can hear you. I don't know why it'd be me, because I've got everything else moved, muted. You've, you've done that a couple really? times before. And it's doing it I again. I don't know why it'd be me, because I've got everything else moved, muted. You've, you've done that a couple times before. Me? And it's doing it again. Yes, it is you. I'm not oh, sure what's let me, going let on. Let me leave and come back in. That might help. Anyways, yes. Tech Wolf at work, can't watch, but ooh, one year freeloading. You love to see it. And Lonely Cowboy, guys miss me. Yes. Tech Wolf at work, can't watch, And you are still echoing, Dusty. You might want to go into your Discord settings. How about this? Is that better? That's better, it seems. It, apparently, I had two windows open, and one was playing and one was not. Oh, that would do it. There you go. Yep. <laughs> not so solid works. Best of luck. Save often to help with your skill issues. Well... Thanks. <laughs> okay. You can't catch a break from whoever is running that SolidWorks account. You really can't. Yeah. All right. So how do we want to do? I was looking at pictures uh, of the Shawano's drawings earlier, um, and I'll even stream to Discord so you guys have the up-to-date stuff what I'm looking at. And I guess, um. Because of the position of the steam dome, the crown stays don't go through both sheets. Is that what crown bars Wait. are? Uh, maybe. Because I've never... Yeah, because the steam dome's right above the firebox, so you'd be putting some oh, of them right okay. through there. And so it looks like they just go up uh, over kind of a beam. Interesting. Which is kind of wacky. Yeah, and you can see them. It's got six of them. Look at the corners in that firebox. What in the fuck is that, Baldwin? <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. Baldwin! You drunk bastards. You really didn't know what you were doing in 1871, did you? Look, it's just like, okay, and now the crown is flat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, um. The bell pair we have at home. Yeah, yeah, internal <laughs> bell pair. Okay. Well, uh, I wonder if that jives with the uh, the boiler code or not. That'll uh, that'll be interesting to look at. 94 Chevy Z71, hot damn, four minutes, new record. Love to see it. Squiddy 2004, 15 months here and the perfect way to spend a Monday. Thanks for being here. And Downtown Arrow Productions, you've made it to 11 months. Have a good stream. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I got some new resources recently. Shout out to Randy from the Durango and Silverton. Um, he sent me the compendium, which is apparently public domain or something. But now I actually have boiler math things um, 
that are not uh, not the newest and wouldn't necessarily apply to new construction, but it'll give us some amount of uh, concept that we're within uh, stuff that runs, basically. So, yeah. Make sure I get that uh, downloaded here, actually. But That does indeed sound like a very good thing to have. Yes, yeah. So this is actual all the calcs for all the things for doing a Form 4. Um, all put into one place. So it's actually a pretty nifty thing here. So, yeah. Uh, so, goodness. Do they say anything about crown bars? Crown stays crown sheet. Yeah, that's normal. I don't know if there's going to be... Okay, crown here's, crown, here's crown bars. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There is calcs for it. Sling stay holes. Is that like sling blade? I guess so. So we'll have to size. Well, we will have to double check and size that. I'm not going to do math for the first time on stream because that'll be a waste of time because I'll be going, huh? Um, but uh, yeah, our interior firebox, we kind of have some dimensions. God, that's wacky looking. Um, <laughs> that is just absolutely wacky looking and of course we don't really have any dimensions on any of it either i mean the even if you blow Are this you up it doesn't work this is the same class as montezuma correct no this is montezuma's cousin got it who was built the same year so they built four two four o's and four two six o's at the same time the two four o were the passenger ones the two six o's were the freight ones um, and oh. so this is Shawano. This is the first of the two six O's, which I believe she was actually number two. Um, if you ever want to look up some who of this stuff. Who had this drawing? This is the Smithsonian. <laughs> the Smithsonian really? has this for some reason. So uh, it's in the packet of a bunch of other things. But yeah. Surely, surely there's a drawing somewhere for Montezuma. We just have to find it. One would assume that it, because there is stuff for Shawano that there was at one point for Montezuma, but who knows if it exists or not. But if you're ever curious, um, this isn't the perfect resource for everything. Um, but if you want to look at rosters of locomotives, it's actually pretty solid for that. DNRG or DRGW.net. You go to rosters, you can go to steam locomotives and then look at all the standard gauge, narrow gauge. Um, and everything is miscellaneous from 1 to 109. Shocker. But we could see number one. There she is, Montezuma. And then number two was Tabawachi. Okay, so Shawano was number three, but the same pattern. Yeah. Oh, God, they built rebuilt those into 060s like 13 years in. And then they still cut them up a couple years later. <laughs> oh, they wow. They weren't happy with them. No, no. They, see, the, was the last time that website was updated like a decade ago? Probably, uh, but this inf it's not that this have. information has changed. So, oh, they had a crap ton of those class thirty fives. Although, but the first order, I guess, was for only five of them, not four of them. So, yeah, neat things. So, it is a handy website. I have used that one before. Yeah, so you can go through and learn about all of the all of the many things that they had. Look at all those class 56s. Neat. So, yeah, definitely a neat uh, thing, neat resource to look at. Uh, but yeah, I guess so it's got, it's gonna have to have crown bars. Um, that's interesting. And the construction of the interior firebox is very strange. But I was, I was mostly looking so I could try and look and see if I could see anything about the throat. But I guess I can't. Should have taken pictures of 346s when I was underneath it. Or maybe I did. I took a lot of pictures from inside the firebox, but then I took the most important picture of all time, of course. <laughs> the Narlaton. The Narlaton. Now I didn't get anything from underneath the frame. Bummer. Yeah, because seeing 346's throat would be somewhat helpful. Because the throat sheet is a bit of a weird shape, so.
Yeah, we don't have anything on the fronts or backs, really. But we do, I mean, we'll see a little bit on the side elevation. Okay, no, it's right there. I mean, so it looks like it's a fairly large radius. I just don't know how they did the keyhole part of it with the step. I guess you would have... With a key, obviously. <laughs> how do you know of the key? <clears throat> yeah. So I guess that's that's going to be playing around in the boiler assembly. So I guess we'll uh we'll open that up and kind of see what we can kind of figure out here. And we'll make a new part for the throat sheet and start to figure it out. Then if yeah, cuz then we'll have most of the exterior of the boiler figured out. So look at all you top chatters. Hey everyone, thank you. Grimsdale join heist blows my speakers out with Baldwin. Would you expect anything less? <laughs> 94 Chevy Z71 rack shotgun. I'm watching you, SolidWorks. You watch your ass. Thank you. Bobcat, Bombcat12, sorry. That's a good name. Uh, one year for free. Love to see it. The, the generosity of some of these folks is wonderful. Octopat5313, a engineer for 16 months. 16 months, sadly, also most likely my last paid sub month, but it's been fun. Other projects and duties call. Take care of you, my friend. I appreciate your love and support this whole time, but you have to take care of you first. Um, I'm, I'm just extra, so <laughs> I appreciate you. You are extra. But... I'm so extra. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> People are going to leave comments that I sound like a valley girl again, all over again. That's actually like, a real whatever. comment that I've gotten. Whatever. I can't stand this narrator. He sounds like a valley girl. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, thanks for the fun times, Mark. <laughs> well, well, hopefully the economy gets me some freebies sometime. Have fun with Zuma. Thank you, my friend. Cookie Fatty 666, which is my favorite of the UK Big Four. Here we go. Favorite train question, and it's about trains I know nothing about. What is the UK Big Four? What four engines so are they? Would be the Scotsman London Mallard. Edition. Yeah, be the LNER, the LMS, the Oh, Great the railroads. Okay. The I swear to God, stay out of the bag. Um, I know nothing about <laughs> the railroads other than the Great Western was fucked. Good, good Apollo. Um, the, the LMS Great Western is basically how do you want your ten wheeler to look? The LMS was very uh, like shoestring budget, I think. I've seemed to heard. Um, LNER is the big fa fancy one, and what's what's the fourth one again? Uh, Southern. Oh, just the Southern. The, I know nothing the about Southern, that. not the Southern. Oh, the, the Southern, yes. Um, so I don't know if I, honest to God, have a favorite out of those because I don't know enough about them. Um, I know more locomotives from the LNER than the other ones. I grew up hearing about Scotsmen and things, so I guess I would say that one, not knowing anything else. But I have, I'm not really educated on, on much more than that. So, Railman twelve twenty five. Uh, chat just jumped. Why you do this? Here I am once again. Quick question. Have you or any of the gang watched Part-Time Explorers, The Wreck of the Broker documentary? Um, I have not, personally. No. Nope. I have. Highly recommend. Ah. Oh, good to know. It's it's worth the 50 minutes. It's it's more than worth the 50 minutes to watch it. Excellent. Good to know. Realman wow. 1225. I... Wow. Is your cat wow. stabbing you somewhere? No, not right now. But you were just reading that. And I open up YouTube to bring up the stream, and guess what's in my recommended? <laughs> the Wreck of the Broker? Yeah. No, there you go. That's funny. And it's also exactly an hour, five minutes, sh or five seconds short. Also, from Rayman1225, also fun fact, Steve Laro, the owner of KNL Trains, lent his K4 model for it. The recently re released remastered version at that. That's cool. That's wonderful. Uh, yeah, JSJ Inc., woo, fantastic. ten months, two to go. Popcorn or chips? Um, it depends on the context. If you're watching a movie, get you popcorn. But if you're like doing anything else, I'd say chips. But... And uh, it looks like YouTube API is still being stupid. Uh, thank you, 94 Chevy Z71, for gifting 20 memberships. Looks like they were procking above me, but it didn't play the clips. Single tier. Uh, and then gifting another 10 beyond that. Thank you, my friend. Transpotter 454. Love catching these streams every Monday, Tuesday. Looking forward to seeing the museum on Thursday. That's right. Not sure if I'm going to be there or not, but I will do my best. CPC Farms, eight months free. Sorry, brain, for no think. It happens. So, anyway. 
on to the throat sheet here. Um, how do I want to, how do I even want to begin to approach this? Grab it by the throat. Hey. It's going to be in. Does SolidWorks have a sheet metal tool? It does, but it doesn't work for plate. I don't think. Okay. Uh, and I also don't know if it's in the maker edition. So, yeah. Not so solid works. Why, why, Baldwin? You confused this man. Then he got me. That's fine. It's fine. I think not yet. So it's going to be an interior corner. So it's going to be like the start of the bottom interior of the back head, basically. Alligator. And then we're going to have to slurp it to fit over there. So I guess I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to copy and paste the um, backhead sheet and then just ruin it. And then we'll, we'll go from there. What's your cat doing now, Goose? He's still getting in the bag. Well, that's what they do. That's what they do. Out of bag. He needs to be out of the bag. No, He's just trying to bag. suffocate himself. Let me, do Aww. I have, if I search, can I find the video? Marion, can... Marion has three oh. cats and her one cat. Oh, there, there's a gif. Here you go. It's a yep. little Lincoln log. He loves yep. bag. That's what Q does all the time too. If you throw a bag anywhere down in my sister's house, that cat will come running to jump into it from across the house. He will hear the bag land and he will run. The problem is I still need to use this as a trash bag, and he has another large paper bag on the other side of the apartment that he's been ignoring. <laughs> he wants this one. Well, that's, you know, because it's needed. That's what they do. Give They're there to... Millbrook Railroad, your work in SolidWorks has inspired me to get back into 3D CAD using a Libre Atom. Yeah, we don't like uh, SolidWorks sometimes. And then Blend Pine Excess, Monday Zuma on my birthday. Glorious. Happy birthday, my friend. Great Happy to... birthday. Great to hear. It's also Goose's birthday, isn't it? Still, correct? Uh, yeah. Home oh. birthday. Happy birthday. Yay. Happy birthday. And there was much rejoicing. Indeed. Yay. Oh, yay. Uh, there you go. At least a couple people got that reference. Not a good Right, we can set a distance mate there. And I think we did two inch last time. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> pie. A double birthday with Goose party? Hell yeah. See I now wish it I just partied more, but you know, work is a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Pretty work. much. I'll uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go look at something for Norm. Norm. Okay, so we basically need to slurp it to match the boiler barrel right there. And it's going to be a crazy wacky fillet, I think. I think that might be something you would accomplish better with a sweep function. Oh, thank God you know SolidWorks. <laughs> I was like, Brett's not here. What do I, we do? I have not used SolidWorks since college, but I use Inventor for work and they're kind of similar they so. are kind of similar right so yeah you could do it you think of doing a sweep what i'm kind of thinking is if you kind of start in the center of the part you basically draw the profile which is uh akin to an l bracket right and then draw another sketch kind of perpendicular to that with the curvature that you need which presumably would very closely match the boiler barrel and then sweep it along that curve in two directions 
Yeah, that could work for the transition period, probably. Um, yeah, because I think... Yeah, I would help, but the last the cat I used was... It's up in the air between Katia or Fusion 360. I've never even heard of the first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was it's watching another these... Desalt product, but oh, okay. it's an older Desalt product. But it checks out? <laughs> it's solid works, but solid worse. Cool. Solid kind of works. Right, I was let's... watching one of these streams a few weeks ago and everybody was making fun of Creo, and I related to that. <laughs> I'm oh, glad. yeah, because I use Creo at work. I'm fine. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Thank you. It... <laughs> I need condolences whenever I open that fucking program. Center distance is 27 inches on... Uh... So it's about 10 inches to the bottom of that. Okay, so what we can do is we don't need to make this new part. We can just go away and just open our throat sheet. Bro the Boomer, welcome to ESD Breakman. And then Jordan Freeman at Goose, in the immortal words of the great Jamie Heineman, quack, damn you. Speaking of Jamie, can you use lard on a Steam Loco? I mean, I'm sure you could use lard I'm on sure a Steam Loco. I'm sure you could use I'm it as not, some kind of lube. Not but sure what it, you'd use it for. It's not ideal. Deal. I guess you could use it as like hub grease, maybe, but it's I'm not sure. ideal. Yeah, it's not sticky enough. I feel like that would just work itself out of the critical areas really quickly. Like I said, not ideal. <laughs> 94 Chevy Z71. Next time you go to the Vatican in Southern, take those damn nitrous bottles out of his cab. I think the FAA got complaints about him flying with no license. <laughs> Yes, I've heard of Jersey's uh, record cannonball runs uh, as of recent. Those guys are having a lot of fun modding that game. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Mark, I am going to look through my International Textbook Company books on steam locomotives. I have the one on boilers. If there's anything relevant in that, I will send it to you. That would be outstanding, my friend. I'm only 10 pages into actually reading it, but, you know, we'll get there. No, I understand that. <laughs> what diameter is that? That's 33 inch, which is the inside diameter. I want the outside diameter, which is going to be 34 inch. But I wanted to get that reference. So 34 inch. So that's what we need to mate this guy up to. Which means, I don't know if the half inch is going to work for the throat or not. We'll find out. I think 346's throat is thicker, too. Yeah, I was definitely getting numbers in the 5 8 range, so... <laughs> My mom is watching uh, stream. Mm -hmm. Because she always is. And she wanted to submit a couple of cat bag pictures. There we go. But I don't have... Aww. Little oh, cutie. Adorable. But this is my favorite because this is Julius, my sister's orange creamsicle of a cat, who's got about two brain cells, and they're trying really hard. Trying to die in a plastic bag, and he looks just like <laughs> oh, Apollo. No. <laughs> oh, no, look just like Apollo. Holy shit. Julius and Apollo are brothers from other mothers. <laughs> it's brand new. It so, just hasn't been unwrapped yet. I don't have um bag pictures to submit, but I have pillowcase pictures to submit. Okay. It's bag like. That is bag like. It's a bag like. This is when he was like maybe three or four months old in VC text. Look at that little goob. Look at this little boy. He looks very similar to Julius. Yeah. 
And then this, like, he's folded up like you hogtied him. Yeah. <laughs> I got He's all a- my feet right there. What a cutie. Goose, I love your cat. I do too. As much as he's a shitbird sometimes. Oh, that's why I love him. <laughs> I love your cat, Scott. Mr. Gibbs! Oh, he's a great Is Scott's bo- cat actually Mr. Gibbs? Yes. Oh that my god. <laughs> It's the name he came with. We only ever called him Gibbs, but then when I told uh, when I told Mark, he just was like, "Oh, nope, nope, this you get the full name treatment." Yep. Yeah. But that's what his actual name on the paperwork was, though, right? It is Mister Gibbs. Yeah. It's the full thing. Yeah. First name Mister, last name Gibbs. And they call him Gibbs or Gibbsy, and I'm like, no, he's my favorite character from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it's very good. So anyway. Mark, Catfish. I'm assuming you're looking at the outside throat sheet rather than the inside throat sheet for right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think right now, like, my first my first go at it would be to... Um, I need to seal off this sketch um, in a way that makes some amount of sense, which I don't know if there is. Um, probably going collinear with... The keyhole, I guess, would make some amount of sense. We'll try that. Um, I think that's at least a starting point. Unfortunately, I'm not finding anything specific to throat sheets yet, other than just kind of general illustrations that have them in it. Right, throat sheets are strange. Um, and this one's kind of obnoxious, being it in the hip of a keyhole. I might not have to look it through. Easy on ourselves. Might have to uh, look through my pictures, but if I extrude this little chunk here. can make a boiler shaped object I don't know that's probably pretty far there's probably one of these textbooks that has the answers that were for in it and I just might not have it (laughs) understandable your answer is in another textbook what does that look like on the actual boiler barrel assembly? Well, that's where I need that to go. Are you, extrude you're it going to have to back wrap the... material around that corner, I guess, kind of where the gap is. We might. So what? It, what I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do what I was gonna try and do first, and we'll try sweeping it next, um, because I. Th- I think that I can make this work just by doing an extrusion and a fillet, I think. Um, but yeah, Catfish Kid 1986 is the boiler barrel tapered towards the smoke box. Now, Zumi's got a straight barrel, so she's entirely the same diameter. Benstein, have we checked the Library of Congress field trip? No, we have not checked the Library of Congress. They might have it. I don't know. Maybe. But four and a half inch. Okay. And then we can see. I don't know if SolidWorks is going to like me attempting to fill out this or not. We'll find out. If it's anything like Inventor, it probably won't. <laughs> probably not. And then Ben, let's see. Cookie Fatty 666. What USR locomotive class would I replicate? Um. I'm not a big USRA guy. We want to do all the weird shit because we're annoying. So, (laughs) T12 Productions, you're designing a little seven and a half inch uh, or seven twelfths inch. I think you meant seven and a half inch T12. God help me. Those are cool. So, all right. Well, let's see if it. Oh, hey, SolidWorks. There you go. Throat sheet. Well, that was remarkably simple. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope it will. All right. Now, simply, uh, we go back to our sketch five and we do an extruded cat. And we just grab the, the rest of this crap. All these other bits. And we'll blitz out the rest of that crap that way. 
Pink Pal. And then I need to get just that little piece taken care of, which... I would assume that might just be an extruded cut straight up from the bottom. I think you're right. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a new sketch, but yeah. It's not a yeah. big deal. I forget if there's a project geometry feature in SolidWorks. I use it all the time in Inventor, and it's lovely. I bet that would be lovely. I don't know if there is either, though. I was, uh, I, I got SolidWorks qualified, like I took the test and I became a, a SolidWorks dude. Uh, but Thank like, I, I did not do anywhere near as much SolidWorks in college as Brett did. Brett started in high school, so Brett's like, Brett's a super pro. Um, I kind of vaguely know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have, I have the things that Brett has sent that you have shown off over the stream, again, which I am three weeks behind on, is just eye candy. I just watched actually the one from earlier February, and you sh and he sh you showed the pictures of the cab that he modeled, and it was just lovely. Yeah, my uh, my favorite recent Bredism. We showed it off a little bit last time. Uh, we tasked him with making the modern Zoomy Boy, um, and the shotgun stack pile headlight vibe. Oh my god! I I boiler want it. Boiler two pilot it's, as well, and the boiler two pilot. It's so cute, but I want it. This is so funny. Oh dear. Yeah. Good job, Brett. Yeah, he good at stuff. I think, I think he's actually enjoying video games at the moment. I think he's playing Deep Rock Galactic. So uh... I will I will not uh, I will not bother him. Why did Brett that... is playing Deep Rock? Why did that not propagate all the way around? Weird. Is that why I couldn't do a bigger fillet? No, I don't know. I guess we're getting inch. That's all right. It doesn't really uh, matter. Rock and stone to the bone. Rock and stone. And then we'll round these Stop corners off. Stop reaching for that dickweed. Did you just call your cat a dickweed? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He might have been talking about you. Well, aw. <laughs> you killed Ted, medieval dickweed! Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent! Excellent! Execute them! Bogus. <laughs> That's almost there. I think the uh, my first extrusion is probably like, a little bit long. And then the back piece, I don't need the whole back piece up top because that piece needs to match the inner there. But how does that line out? Or do I need to do the hips differently for the, uh, I might need to change the hips for the, how do you do that? Oh, that broke something funny. Why would you do that, SolidWorks? Why are those two different extrusions? Oh, God. I just... The Bill and Ted reference put me on a spin of nostalgia, and I'm I just glad. had a horrible idea. Next cat I get... Named Trogdor. That'd be very good. Speaking of nostalgia, did you realize that Spongebob is 25 years old now? What's funnier than 24? <laughs> 25. <laughs> the only way that I can relate to the Spongebob is the fact Break that it, Ernest everybody. Boy 9 was the voice of Mermaid Man. Did you not watch SpongeBob as a kid, Glenn? Is that what I'm hearing? That is what you're hearing. Single tier. We should we, we, uh, did we not have we did not have like more than like the the three 1972 channels until I was like 11. That is understandable. Okay, 
Dusty, do you have any pictures of Grandma or 20s throat sheets? I might. I don't. I'm gonna look. I probably, it might come across in a picture of 20. When was I there? Oh, it was, uh, did I, would I have taken pictures when I interviewed at Strasburg? Probably. <laughs> but we have to stop at my favorite gif. Scrolling through, and this is saved in my Google Photos. Look at this little shit ass. What? And the then you realize the, the floor is just covered <laughs> in them. He's just look spinning. at the camera. <laughs> just like, what? Just, I know exactly what I'm doing. Cockatoos, man. Not even once. It's fine. Well, there's Brett in a firebox, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, here's Strasburg, and here's 20's barrel. If I could do anything, I would go back in time and buy myself a better phone. Jesus Christ. It's just all out of focus. When would I have taken pictures of 346's throat? Presumably recently. But... Presumably sometime after, like, fall of 2021. Presumably. Oh, I know. You know, actually, oh, she was all put together. I have 4K footage of walking around 346 uh, in her entirety to make sure that we had um, a detail of exactly how she was put together uh, beforehand, though... Who's this? Oh, this is uh, this is Chloe. Itty bitty little choo choo, very cute little choo choo. Montezuma would kick this thing's ass. <laughs> it's one of Ward Kimball's engines. It's cool. <clears throat> so, uh, Southern California Railway Museum is awesome. I wasn't I'm kidding. I'm throwing though. a few things in VC text, Mark. I'm not sure if they'll help you or not. Okay. Yeah, let me take a look. See here. I think I'm going to head out for the night. Thank you all for letting me hang out for just a little bit. Of course, yeah. Take it easy, Gun. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Sorry I couldn't be more help <laughs> with well, solid works. I appreciate the attempts, my friend. <laughs> Happy to offer them. Well, talk to you guys later. Yeah, that's Peace. a good general engineering drawing. I'm, I'm trying to look and see how uh, specifically the keyhole hips line up in, in with the throat. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they accomplished that. So, unfortunately, I gave Leighton back the books about overall locomotive design. The only one I have for anything related to that right now is appliances. Which is your cue to talk to Leighton. Leighton might have something. Where, oh, where is my hairbrush? If you get that meme, we have I was going to similar... say, are we just going on all the nostalgia roller coasters today? Apparently. <clears throat> oh, where is my hairbrush? Are you looking oh, for an interior or exterior mark? Exterior throat sheet. You only have, okay. well, you technically only have exterior throat sheet, but yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I meant. I just sent you something else, too, that was kind of in... It's a link to a bunch of pictures of the keyhole firebox being rebuilt. Oh, interesting. Okay. Welcome back to Silly Songs oh. with Larry. Oh, weird. Okay. I, I wish this one picture was just a little further zoomed out. Yep, that's how it always is. Uh, because, yeah, this is the... It, is that? No, that may not be the throat even. It's hard to say. No, I don't think that is the throat with the way the rest of that geometry works out. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah. That's the side 
Yeah. That's the back corner. It looked like the throat sheet to it me. Looked, it looked like the throat to me, too. Oh, but, no, yeah. there's a washout plug there. Yeah, that's the back corner. SolidWorks, is the silent treatment working? Did he go away? No. <laughs> John Kissinger! Zabu! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i hope Everybody my mom wants a water buffalo i hope my mom is still watching <laughs> i take all these pictures of trains i must have taken a picture of a throat sheet sometime in my life Barbara Manatee! <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. God, it's always so tucked up there. We in the... were in slavery! <laughs> the throat's always so tucked up in there in the narrow gauge engines. There's another. It's not a keyhole, but it's. What is this? Uh... Well, unfortunately, the keyhole is exactly what I need reference yeah, for. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> that is actually a lot of cool pictures though how they made that I'll keep looking I was just staring at 346's all freaking weekend Didn't take a picture. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> 94 Chevy C71. Click safety. Still here, SolidWorks, you motherfucker. Love to see it. Thank you, my friend. There's a there's a keyhole. That's a very slight yeah. keyhole. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but it looks like the throat, again, I wish it was just a little bit higher. If the throat, the keyhole marries entirely on the exterior of the throat. So the throat does its thing and then the keyhole follows that at the front. King of Comedy. You saw a cat companion mod in the works for Deer All Valley? But yeah. Yeah. We, we like a, we like a cat companion. I ran, I, I saw like three different cats in Deer All Valley in my film. Cats. Okay. Okay. Cats. That's not helpful. On, That's a giant Come on, load picture. That's Dusty wearing a Coors beer helmet. What? <laughs> oh, the bucket? The bucket. Yeah. This is a bucket. It's a bucket. Dear <clears throat> God. There's more. No. It contains a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. There's a there's another maybe better picture. This one's upside down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that schlorp's hella weird. It gets that's the the firebox is wider than the barrel on that. That's wacky as hell. Oh, I don't remember how the exact melody of that song. The puppies song. Puppies, puppies, oh, tender God, loving puppies. Oh, God, I don't remember that one either. I remember that, but I, I can't think of the melody in my head. I remember it, but I don't. Yes. <laughs> I've never taken a picture of a throat sheet in my entire life, apparently. There's binders. Do, 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 do. Is 
it's Jeff in a firebox. Jeff in a boiler. I would look up my footage of 346, but she was all assembled then, and the jacket might cover it. Surely the interweb has a picture of 20. Right. Spoiler not on the frame. Okay, here's a picture that might actually help. <clears throat> God, how do they caulk that seam then? So her her throat is riveted all the way up and it forms the bottom part of the keyhole seam. Like the keyhole slurps over it to fill it. So how do they, what do they do in the transition there? Hmm. Okay, I want to see this without running boards on it now. <laughs> Mr. Shooter 4, yay, more Zoomy Boy Madness. Time to break out the Red Breast 12 and relax. Yeah. Mm. That's the best whiskey around, man. It's me, fa it's me favorite. <laughs> if I was at the museum, we have all kinds of pictures of the boiler off the frame. but Right. If we were at the museum, we would have the boiler itself. Well, yeah, no. Sh <laughs> True. <laughs> Don't interject logic into this. If we were welding it and not riveting it, it would be extremely easy to just fucking do the thing, but... Are you not going to weld that? We may not. I mean, you, you could weld everything except for, like, the foundation ring. Good, yeah. Yeah, because the, the... I guess the... The throat must just get super narrow right there, and then the... Uh, and then the radius of the hips must actually just conform to it. I guess. I I I don't honestly know. I guess for now, yeah, I, what I'll do is I will Is that going to be a chamfer to just cut that edge off and just smooth it out? Dropped a couple more pictures in VC. Yeah. I shouldn't comment on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just do a little slurp like that, I guess. I'm going to address the elephant in chat from Colorado Dude 2008. Just go look at his channel. Just do, and your question will be answered. Yeah, gee. Do I work at the Colorado Road Museum? I don't know. Maybe. Allegedly, sometimes. Perhaps. Well, definitely sometimes, but, you know. When you're talking about the elephant in the chat, I thought you were talking about me. Wow. Look, I've never seen a picture of you. I don't know your build. I am fatter than I look. <laughs> <laughs> 
Some of us and take I'm that personally, than I Corey. Look. <laughs> I am much thinner than I look, and I'm I already look like stick. a goddamn twig. That's not a radius, though. Obviously, I don't have a radius. Oh, you're talking about the boiler. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh... Well, we'll have to come back to the throat sheet at some point because, uh, pff, fuck if I know. Um, I'm not going to be able to figure that out and also get anything else done on this stream, so. But not this... a very good picture. It's in the shadows, but it's 318's boiler. <laughs> Yeah, there's not enough pixels in that one. Yeah. It's goofy. Oh, yo. Anyway. Virtual Railfan, how's the restoration of 346 going? I filmed a video about it last week that I will hopefully post sometime before the heat death of the universe. Um, it's going well. You taste UT survey just got done. So she's coming right along. Corey Gibson, more than a half a year with you bad influences. Uh, yes, indeed. Good to see you, my friend. Vintage Renewed, would a Shea, Climax, or Heisler boiler help figure out the throat sheet? We have some logging engine boilers with firebox sitting in Sumter Valley Railroad Yard that you could get photos of. Uh, it, it doesn't... It, if you have a photo right now, that's great. If not, not really. Uh, I will just go get pictures of 346s next time I'm there. So, anyway... Jordan Freeman, when will the next Curse stream, uh, Curse Trains stream happen? For some reason, I enjoy watching Mark lose his sanity over Curse Trains. We'll have to plan another one of those. We don't have one in plan right now. And 94 Chevy Z71, gifting five memberships. Thank you. We're going to kind of live with that for now and then just kind of check and make sure our sanity makes some amount of sense here. <clears throat> See if we can get the start of a firebox maybe before I have to jump off. Let's see if I pull up and is it the is it the placeholder boiler that has the uh, the sketches in it that have the the Fletcher sketches? Yeah. <clears throat> or no. Maybe it's in the frame. Hey, there we go. Okay, our positioning of firebox stuff is actually pretty, pretty close to bang onto the Fletcher drawing, which not that that's dimensionally accurate at all, but. Um, so exterior firebox is pretty happy, so um, I guess foundation ring shenanigans. I know you moved on, but I sent you one more picture from the back. It's You might want a frontwards <clears throat> picture instead. Yeah, frontwards is what I want, although this might help at least understand it a little bit. I wish I could zoom in more. Yeah, the thing I don't get is how is... Uh, how is the interface between the the throat and the like what is the, what is that little spot when it when the throat ends up top how do they handle that and maybe they just caulk the shit out of it uh maybe that's the answer but yeah <clears throat> john rhodes hey highest might look at 191 it's the same baldwin bs uh yes i don't have pictures of 191 right now I'll, i have access to all of the trains to go look at things i was trying to figure out right now I will have to go and uh, get reference of throat sheets, evidently, uh, next to them at the museum. So, But we're going to move on for now. Foundation ring, which means we kind of want to know some stuff about interior firebox and all these things. T12 Productions is my cursed model train stream, a joke to you. Um, it's less fun than cursed real trains because there's so many cursed real trains. And, and it's wacky that they've been built because they're full size. Making a cursed model train is as simple as having a Sharpie. So, uh, 
it's a different caliber of thing. I'm sure it'd be fun, but uh, I think I think it's a very different thing. Okay, did I close the? No, I didn't. All right. Do we have any details about Shawano's foundation ring? Any that we can actually see? Probably not. <clears throat> God, it looks like she has like an inch and a half of water space between sheets. Is that it? Good God. The fact that they're drawing both sides of the stinking choo-choo on, on the same thing as just like Baldwin White. Why do you do this to us, man? It shows anything in the back view. I wish I could read any of these numbers. Just use a randomizer. I'm sure that will have no negative repercussions later. There's, there's that and that, and then there's that and that for the axle. So it's kind of like half the axle's thickness, so like maybe two inch. I mean, that sounds about right for a foundation ring. SolidWorks, why are you so stupid sometimes? Answering William Cannon's question in chat, um, there are things you can get away with on live Steam that you absolutely cannot get away with on real locomotives, especially if you want them to be FRA certified. Yeah, the rules and regs are very different. The construction's very different. Um, it doesn't make live Steam like less serious or it's less real, but or it's, or it, it's, or just it's a very different set of requirements. Makes it it's the scale that makes it very different. It's also mostly not regulated ex except for mostly like amusement side, you know, because connect there's not a so, but there are things that obviously work, but they're not legal on the big stuff. Yeah, like my there's nothing wrong with my boiler, but you cannot build boilers out of... You cannot get an FRA certified uh, stainless steel boiler. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of <laughs> stuff uh, that you do on live steam probably doesn't scale well on bigger stuff either. That's no. exactly the reason. No. Exactly. A, a ton of it doesn't make any sense. I mean, that was the eye-opening thing of getting to run and play live steam with Scott a couple weeks ago was like just seeing how different and strange some of the things are. A lot of it is so similar, but a lot of it is so different. Um, I, the funny thing being, how big is his boiler? Itty fucking bitty. How big is his blowdown? Half inch. <laughs> See, you can make the boiler disappear like when you sneeze on the blowdown. Not actually, but I mean, it, it, it watch the water leave the glass, which is not really the case on the big stuff, so. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish I, like, we kept track how many times you go, that's not how it works on the big stuff, because it was at least six or seven times. It was. <laughs> As I pushed my passenger train in by hand. Literally. Hey, we, I, we didn't get stuck out on the line too bad. It's fine. And I figured it out, and then you handed me anthracite, you son of a bitch. I didn't know it was in there. It was surprise anthracite. <laughs> surprise anthracite. Pocket sand. Yeah. Anyway, Blues Crew gifting five memberships. Thank you. Solid works because I'm dealing with you. Uh, JSJ Inc. also gifting five memberships. Thank you.
I don't know. Is um, is the foundation ring pocketed for the the sheets, or do the sheets get cut out around the foundation ring? How's that work? So many questions you never think to ask. Hmm. Cool linear. There we go. We'll just have to see, I guess. And then it's a uh, two inch radius and then down and then. Then these guys and these guys are tangent. Why is that over defining shit? Reading chat still, Lord Sheriff Takari, with a good point, but I'm not sure if it's legal anymore. Zumi's throat sheet was probably heat and beat. Motherfucker, that's how you make a tube sheet or a throat sheet. Yeah, that's that's how they're still made. Oh, just, most, that, unless that, you use okay. a flanger or something. You but you can't flange a throat sheet because it's not well, just one. So you could flange it to start, but you you build a wooden form and then you get yeah. the dudes and the heat and the big hammers and then you yeah. Shows you how much I know about actually building these things. I need um, to get into the shop more. Many of us don't know a lot about building these things. That's why, yeah, I've been dealing with Steam for 10 years, but I'm sitting here asking questions. I don't know if a foundation ring is set up like this. I've never put one on an engine. I've never seen one off an engine. I've only ever seen the boiler, you know, like it's a it's a whole interesting thing. So then if I extrude this, oh, well, I guess I need to make, I need to then set it up for the firebox, don't I? Give me that one. We offset entities. No, oh, it's not going to let me do that, is it? Hmm. How, th how much water space is there? Maybe three inch. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to trim my construction shit. It'll make this easier. Midpoint relation got that done. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to use offset entities and give ourselves three inches of water space towards the inside. Although that that, that makes for a small, 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 small thing. Maybe it's two inch. That's gonna have to have a radius to it. So I guess I can do a sketch fillet. Red bearded bard, it's been almost half a year. How is this possible? Oh hi, hi, hi! Glad to see you. It's, it's crazy. Time flies, man. Mr. Shooter for SolidWorks needs to grow up and work like a real program for once. Now to follow up, red breast twelve blue spot. Yes, you like good whiskey. Blue spot is significantly better than red breast twelve. Um, I hardly ever see it. I actually 
uh, I was at the liquor store earlier and I saw Blue Spot and was like, I should buy it because I see it. Um, and I didn't. But uh, I'm saving the, the true fancy booze for uh, when I hopefully screams uh, buy a house this year. But uh, that is uh, that is not necessarily a guarantee. So we will uh, we'll kind of see. But do the thing, Mark. I'm hoping it can. Um, it turns out that the people that lend money are pains in the asses about a lot of stuff. So yeah, that they are. We'll see how it goes. All right. And if we do an extrusion of this boy. Foundation ring. Okay. Now we insert a part. We're going to insert the foundation ring. All right, Solid Race, you can ask for it. Boom. Thank you, 94 Chevy. <laughs> there we go. And you drive rivets through that crap. And then you have interior firebox that goes in there. This is starting to look like a, bur a burler. I should, yeah, I should save because smells like Kenosha's playing. Four reels. So is like the general plan for the boiler to be, you know, you're just going to rough the shape out and then send that out for like calculations and other, you know, finer details from professionals or so that a, a little bit of that. So right now, the reality is the ASME code to construct a new boiler for a locomotive, even that goes into FRA service, uh, you have to have the full ASME code or at least a good portion of it. That's very expensive, like $20,000 ish uh, to procure um, to actually build a new build boiler, even if it's an FRA service locomotive. Um, so we're gonna rough it out using the best engineering practices we know to get it to look right, to get the dimensions right, to get, be able to do the rest of the design and know that some of it may have to change based on ASME. Um, when we become an actual 501c3, we will try and go through and see if we can get a copy of ASME and adjust as need be. Or we may just say, hey, you, boiler shop, here is our requirements, build. Um, and then give them our roughed out one and say, make sure that this follows ASME standards, etc. So, Hello. Hello. It's a Brett. Solidworks, so you have no power your here. General direction. And Vintage Renewed found some photos that might help. Where do you want them to check? Uh, just DM to me on Discord. Brett, throat sheet, throat sheet weird. How do throat sheet and side sheets play along? Throat sheet go outside side sheet, yeah? No, it doesn't. Uh, hmm. That would make well, it easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would make it easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, throat sheet go inside side sheet, and we argued about throat sheet. On on uh, Shawano or on other references on, as well? On all other references. On everything, right. okay. Yeah. Hey, Brett, go fax yourself. Yeah, yeah you, you did just have a... My mic on. has been really crunchy tonight, and I don't know why. I guess the other the other thing that it, that is impacting things here a little bit, and why I'm potentially having so much of an issue with it is that the wrapper sheet is usually a separate sheet and that rivet seam continues because i'm trying to figure out how you transition from the wrapper to the throat to the uh to the barrel and we right. and currently our barrel is just one piece which maybe isn't right so 
Does it... Hmm. Do we have a good shot of a throat sheet on a keyhole firebox? We were just looking for a ton and could not find them. Let me let me see if I've got some naughty photos of twenty. I was hoping somebody would. Staring up Finch is renewed. Those those photos have the feature that I need, but it's too dark. Oh, and that's very different. That's a very different design. That's actually interesting. The ones he pulled up. Um, there's no pixels in that one, um, but this one shows that the throat and and the wrapper are kind of one, and that's a different design entirely. That's kind of interesting though. It's kind of fun. This one, there's a fucking rag in the way. Oh, and yeah, Brett, we started looking at Shawano's firebox and just went... So... At the crown bars or at... Uh... At the crown bars and yeah. look at the top corners and then the positioning between the tube sheet and the frickin' tubes. There's, like, no space. Oh. Oh. Ramrodded in there. Ram Ranch. While you look around, um, um, I'm going to have to go pee, so I'll be right back. We're just going to entertain the people then. Oh, it's up to us. We can practice our musical act. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> we sang a song in Kansas that was a uh, Beauty and the Beast cover. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit is fucked. Shit is fucked. Something like that. <laughs> well, we're not in Kansas anymore, so I don't think we can do that act. Mm. Okay, Dorothy. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. Did I seriously not get a detail shot of her throat sheet? Look, maybe she just didn't like voyeur photos being taken of her. You have to pay I've, for that. I've moved on from 20. Now I'm looking at 346. Ah, so naked grandma. Same, same story, unfortunately. A Christensen. I'm pretty Ooh. sure they're just going to call it Montezuma. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be a living, working replica of Montezuma later in life, so... Why not call it Montezuma? It's kind of a pseudo mix. It's not even necessarily it later in life. Yeah, it's, it's, it's details it's, we can put together from the class. Yeah, well, and even then, it's kind of an adapted narrative. We know that the version we're putting together and presenting is not a quote unquote historic guise for it because we're doing the fit and finish, you know, the paint and the trim and all that stuff as built. But, um, you know, adding things that it got later in life, like air brakes and the little hoopty further valve rod. Um, and then also back. modern yeah. crew comforts that it never had, so. And modern things like oil burning that it never had. Uh, that's sure. still TBD, but pos highly likely. That's best I'm able to find at this point, which sucks because she's jacketed. Right, it needs to be higher up than that. I need the the piece that I need is the piece above that. I've got the uh, the transition to the barrel done, and I was pretty happy. It like came out super easy, but then realizing the relationship between the hips and the everything else. Um, yeah, I, I does does it just kind of. I tapered it down to nothing, thinking that maybe that they worked it in and then caulked the seam over, but I well, don't might, know. They might do that, but then have the barrel course kind of wrap around it, so it's an intermediate size between the two. The barrel and the wrapper, that is. Right, so you have barrel, then you have throat, then you have the wrapper. Right, and all three of... and the in betwixt those two the throat kind of tapers down to nothing and then all three are caulked at you know one location right let's see what other pictures of naked choo choos we can find the other question um 
the other question that I have for you, Brett, because uh, I've never uh -oh. seen a foundation ring off of a locomotive. Is Yark. the foundation ring stepped around the sheets, or do the sheets get hammered into the fucking foundation ring that is just a solid piece? Like, that, the, the latter would make more sense to me, but I also don't know. Well, uh, let me, hang on, I'm not looking at the stream. You mean stepped like... I stepped, okay, stepped the... Like the little corners you've got? Yeah, because we've got the, the seams set up. You know, if memory serves, they just taper down to nothing. I, I like your version more, personally. But yeah, if memory serves, it's just... Um, hmm. What is uh, what is Shawano show for that? Not much. Great. I, I, I mean, you can barely... Of a keyhole firebox, unfortunately. You can barely see the foundation ring at all. Um, and then they don't really call out anything in terms of it. Nothing in that view. And then the side view, there's too much running gear shit in the way. Let me see if the O'Connor engines have a good reference. That'd be nifty. Uh, did we answer Jay Christensen's question while I was gone? I don't believe so. We keep calling it Montezuma because it's your proposal for a new build of that class of locomotive. But if we get it built, what should we name it? Montezuma. Oh, it's going yes, to be. We did that. Yeah, that. it's going to be a rebuild of Montezuma. Is it the original Montezuma? No, but yeah. We did not point out the. I didn't hear the verbiage of the question itself before. We didn't point out that the class is not called Montezuma. <laughs> It is that it is so that's the whole thing. You know, that's the reason that's, we're not kicking. We're not kicking it. It's the class twenty five per the Rio Grande verbiage and per Baldwin it's the Eight and a half C three. Sure of that. Eight and a half drawing two C three is Montezuma. Eight and a half drawing two is the class. Or class twenty five in Grand Speak. Yeah. Which Dear Mass Cannon, I mean later in life it'd be a pile of scrap. True. It would be. 94 Later Chevy. Life, it was a hospital. It's true. 94 Chevy phone's about to die. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Take it easy. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. I forgot these PDFs take a fucking eternity to load. I'm going to start trying to determine how tall the fucking firebox is. Screams. While you look at those things. Is that in term, are we using units of Brett? Because I think about a third of a Brett would be accurate. <laughs> no, Brett, Brett fits in fireboxes. Do Not I have to in go, this one. Do I have to go Not... scroll down and find the picture again? Well, I know <laughs> Brett fits in fireboxes, but fireboxes on locomotives that dwarf this thing. Three, 346 <laughs> is a bit of a squeeze height-wise. And this engine is like half the size of 346. I don't know if the height's going to be that much different, though, in the firebox. It, the trouble is, I can fit in 346 only because I can spread out lengthwise. That is true. You know, obviously I can't fit height-wise, but the way I fit in it is by laying down. <laughs> That's not what I have a picture of you in. I've got a picture of you in 346's box, and you're like literally just pretzeling, hey. which probably worked when you were 18, but... Well, you got a picture I'm, of Brett in Grandma's box? I do. I'm older and no wiser at this point, so... I was making all sorts of contorted stupid positions to do the UT in 346's box the other day. Hey. There it is. As soon as I find the Grail tablet, I find it. Here's a Brett. Uh, a probably only 6 foot 5 Brett at that time in 346's <laughs> firebox. <laughs> All right, I believe, I don't actually know whose this is. Americans but... use anything but the metric system. It's true. How many cheeseburgers tall is the firebox? I need to know. In units of smash burgers and in doubles. I was going to say, are we, are we talking single or double smash burgers? Steakhouse here? doubles and smash burgers. <laughs> Figure it Colorado. out. Colorado? Because that green chili adds a nominal thickness. It does. Oh, my God. I what had... is the ratio of cheeseburgers to Brett's? Oh, interesting. All of them. Lots of them. Whose mud ring is this? I don't know. As as I was saying, I don't know. It could be British. 
They do they do do a squoosh though. That's weird. It appears it appears to be a a Hunslet boiler or some similar British two foot gauge nonsense. But um, they they taper the that, they taper the one sheet super far down. Yeah, that said, that is how I remember other mutterings: is they they taper to nothing and the ring is just square. Well, no, the ring's got a, a puff square, out in square, it because it has to. You can see the seam puff all the way out. down. Yeah, what it gets puff out? it gets thicker. It gets thicker to match. Yeah, 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 but it doesn't have corners. Right, 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 right. Yeah, which which does track corner bad. Corner bad. It's true. So we should probably adjust that. Um, that said, That's... I, I'm running out of time to actually be doing something and leave it in a state of completion. Um, That's also one of those things like the boiler. The boiler we're going to have to completely redesign and like actually design at some point. Right. I I don't know that it's worth messing with. The big thing is we've got the part envelope for it. Uh, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna try and fuck up the fire the front tube sheet, I guess, Woo. or something. In the in the t 20 minutes I have here, I wish that you could read a single dimension on this fucking drawing. That'd be nice. Have you tried it? It'd be great if it had just a little bit more zoom on it, because really the resolution doesn't look half bad. It's just not... We can't get in close enough. Michael, what is your head shape? Is it square? Is it square? Square! I, I, I know what square is. Let's see. Gotta find it. Gotta find the clip now. It's important that everyone sees this. Every time I have to search like three different terms. There it is. Here we go. This is uh, this is where an internal century of steam meme comes what from. What you doing, Kelly? Hi, girl. Hello, bird. Cuckoo bird. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Hello, bird. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Who lives in a pineapple? Who lives in a pineapple? Chilling. Who lives in a pineapple? Who lives in a pineapple? Spawn, 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 square, 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 it's, it's Tristan T posing for dominance. What yeah. is this firebox? Yeah, have you, are you just now processing the fuck shit that is this fucking thing? No, no, I've found something that's potentially worse. Oh. Andrew Frame, assuming I'm catching the tail end of the stream as per usual. Hope you've had a great day. Yes, sir, you are. Uh, we're almost done here. And then Colton Taylor, six foot five Brett inch Brett is two foot gauge Brett. Uh, no, two foot gauge Brett would be much smaller than that. But. Two foot gauge Brett would be like middle school Brett. What is that firebox? <laughs> but I take it back. That's a Hunslet. What that's a mis the that's a mistake. Fuck is that? That's just that's a, mistake. a mistake. Is what that is? Your aspect ratio is like. It's the wrong way up. Like <laughs> literally, turn <laughs> right. it turn it ninety degrees. <laughs> right. Really easy to get the corners. <laughs> is that your car? It's the wrong way up. You <laughs> have what you ever you wanted a one scoop for that no use an ice scoop patrick mcneely you have a gaggle of minions for seven to get high definition ice scans scoop for that not a bad shout Square. do we know the diameter of shawano's boiler did it also have a 34 inch boiler not offhand i don't know Do we have its card, actually? If we had its card, it would be helpful. I don't I don't know that we have its card. I don't know either. Because having its card and its drawing would give me some reference, because I could know, like, for sure the axle is this big or whatever. 
Because it looks like a relatively scaled drawing. Oh my god, look at how thin the fucking steam dome collar is. Ugh. It's the same thickness as the goddamn barrel. Ugh. Take solace in the fact that it's probably made out of iron. Five sixteenths. Screams. Five sixteenths. It's fine. Screams. Nathan Couplin, I know this is joke is delayed, but looking at nude nude choo choo's mmm steamy. Yes. Very much so. Naked grandma! Naked grandma! Naked grandma! Naked, huh? Do we know the driver diameter? We gotta know the driver diameter. On Shawano? I'm sure yeah. we do. I don't know it offhand, but Is it not can, on the drawing here? I can find it. The tr the drawing isn't legible anywhere. Ah, that would be an issue. That is that is that is the issue with all of this. We can't really read any dimensions from the drawing. Uh, you know, maybe if someone got in contact with the Smithsonian and was able to procure copies. I've pinged of... Armagon. He's online. 36 inch. <laughs> that 36 fast. Inch. 36 inch. Okay. So we know that our driver tires are 36. Thank you, Armagon, if you tune in. So we can we can now do some maths. This is this is how professionals do stuff, okay? So you do this, then you open this is how the O'Connor engines were built. <laughs> you open up Microsoft Paint and you figure out that Alright, from that location to that location is 340 pixels, okay? So now you get your calculator out, and 340... Figure how many pixels is one inch on Exactly, 340 pixels divided by 36 inches means that it's 9.44 repeating pixels per inch, okay? So now when we go, okay, the interior top of the firebox down to the foundation ring bottom, do I want to go to the interior top? I might want to go to the exterior top. The exterior top of the firebox down to the exterior bottom of the mud ring, foundation ring, is 308 pixels. So 308 pixels divided by 9.44444444 is 32.6 inches, basically. Isn't, isn't that the dimension? What? On the on the builder's card, doesn't it have some stupid like you know thirty two inches deep? And we're like, what the hell does that mean? Uh oh, on it Zuma's, has... yeah, I think it I think on, it does say it... thirty two inches Is deep inside. I think I think you're right. Let me pull it up. It has a number that says, you know, however many inches deep inside, and we're looking at it, it's like, what is what, that? What does that mean? To? Yeah. Right. Is that from the crown to the crates? Is that to the bottom of the muttering? Is that to the top of the muttering? What does that mean? Let's see. Spec sheet, pulling it up. Montujuma. 32 deep inside. 32 inch deep inside. There it is. That's and that was, that was from the top to the bottom. And so that means yeah, that the, the, interior. you get a sheet or thing. In, interior. interior would be 32 inch deep. There yep. you go. We have solved a thing. We have figured it out. We have figured it out. Yep. Colton's Taylor. That's not a boiler. It's a kettle. Pretty much. My call 1255. No. I was thinking of a different clip from Pleasantry called Square Heads. Want me to send it to you. It is safe. Just strange. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll watch it after stream because we're running out of time. But yeah, please send it my way. And Nathan Copeland, super chat broken, I guess. Um, no, you you just sent one. Did we miss one of yours? Uh oh. We we read the last one. Oh, the um steamy. Which one was that? The um steamy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. So. Hmm. All right. Dare I even? Do we? We might have to sketch the inner tube sheet, like the fuck shit that this is. In order to oh, fit all the I don't tubes. Like that. I don't like that. How Although, many... really, really, I mean, what would we change to make it better? The crown has to be flat for bars. Right. The The radii in the corners is whack, and then the tube spacing is whack, but I don't know how many tubes. Could we maintain an equal water space around the outside between the sheets and the barrel? 
like rather try. than it going into a tangent, it actually has a curve. We could try, yeah. Does anybody in chat have a good reference for Sierra 3's boiler? Does that thing got crown bars? It does. Oh, ew. And it's a new new boiler. Wow. I guess I didn't realize that thing had crown bars. I, I also didn't really truly understand what crown bars were until the stream, which is funny. But anyway. Hmm. They're one of those things that's like, why would you do that? And then somebody says, well, you, you have put, to, you can't you put, stay into the dome. You put the steam dome in a stupid place. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, I guess you can't put sp stay bolts into nothing. I'm just gonna try and sketch a vague profile for time and just try and dimension it vaguely and we'll yeah, probably have to stop there. Come back to it next week and do the firebox proper. Same bat time, same bat channel. Literally, yeah. I wonder who built that boiler. The one for uh, Sierra number three? Yeah, cause it got a new welded one probably 15 years ago. Armagon just sent me Shawano's spec sheet because he's cool. the greatest. Hey, it does exist. It does. I'm not. We have fucking Montezumas, so I'm sure we have it. Here's um, well, here's Shawano's for later. You say you say that we also have drawings for Shawano, and yet we don't have them for Zuma. So well, fair. All right, uh, thirty-two inch. God, it's got to have a, a fucking swoopy curve on it, too, doesn't it? My call, the videos uh, in general in Discord. I will check it. Ping, make sure you ping me with it. I have permission. Jacob Pfeiffer, if you heard right, Zuma has 36 inch drivers. They're the same size as normal freight car wheels today. Uh, that is Shawano. Uh, cousin to Zuma. Zuma has 40 inch drivers, slightly bigger because she's a passenger engine. But yeah, Wheel, <laughs> wheels on the narrow gauge are itty bitty. 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 Yeah. Standard wheel size for our freight cars is 26 inches. Yep. And a lot of the earlier stuff had 24s. Which I learned something infuriating. The little flat cars, the little two axle things. Mm -hmm. They have 20 inch wheels. Oh my god. Yeah. Dunk so, him in your coffee. There there went that idea. I don't I really don't know if I'm gonna make any headway on this in ten minutes, so I think I'm just gonna call it. Uh yeah. we'll, we'll do firebox next week. Um let's see. Firebox or rear tube sheet. started it anyways guys thank you so much for watching I really really genuinely appreciate you guys uh but we gotta run this week um i gotta still edit my dear old valley video for tomorrow Ugh, we'll get ahead of stuff eventually here <laughs> so anyways thanks so much for watching let me catch these couple top chats and we'll get out of here nathan copeland must be your end it adds random words and spaces i see that it does um i'm not sure why it's doing that <laughs> So I think that has to do with being on phone, probably. Yeah, it's probably a mobile yeah. thing. So anyway, and Andrew Frame, cheers, cheers to you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, hopefully, I'll get up your way one of these days. Um, actually, I have an excuse to come up to Seattle in July now. Not that I need to add more fucking travel to my life, but uh, we'll have to chat you and me, and maybe Rowdy. So anyway, take it easy, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.